Today is Tuesday, April 14. Today's objective is students will be able to complete questions 5 through 8 found in Science Packet Week 3 with annotations and evidence. Our main topic for the week is matter. Key points for today are number one, matter is everything around us. Number two, we can classify matter based on its physical properties. Number three, physical properties of matter are mass, magnetism, solubility, density, conductivity, and state of matter. We use our strategy, Mickey Mouse and Donald can sing, to remember the six properties of matter. M, M stands for mass. Remember that we can use a triple beam balance to measure mass in grams. Magnetism, we use the strategy of Nix. Solubility, we remember the definition, able to dissolve in water. D for density, remember the low density floats, high density sinks. Conductivity, conductors allow electricity to flow, insulators block the electricity or energy. A state of matter, it is solid, liquid, and gas. Today, we will focus on density. Remember the low density floats, high density sinks. Today, we're gonna to be comparing different densities of different substances and objects. We're gonna compare with the density of water. The question that you need to ask yourself is, is this object sinking or floating? If the object is sinking, it will have more density than water. If it's floating, it will have less density than water. The example to the left, it says, oil is less dense than water. How do I know this? Because the oil is on top of the water, it is floating. Sand is more dense than water. Sand has a higher density because it is sinking. To the right, we have a density tower. Notice that the water is not the clear substance. It is the green substance in this case. Some substances that have lower density than water are ping pong ball, lamp oil, alcohol, soda cap, vegetable oil. And I know they have lower density than water because they're on top of the water. The ones that have a higher density than water are the ones that are below, that are sinking, such as the cherry tomato, the soap, milk, dye, syrup, the popcorn kernel, honey, even the boat have a higher density than water. These are other examples of objects that have lower or higher density than water. For example, a wooden block, even the wooden pencil, oil, apple, they will have a lower density. What will happen if they have low density? They will float. The objects that have higher density could be steel, the iron cube, rubber eraser, sugar cubes. What will happen if they have high density? Well, if I put them in water, they will sink. I am very excited to show you this experiment that you can try at home. Uh, remember that if you want to try it, you need to ask your parents permission and your parents must be present while you do this at home. Materials. You would need half a cup of water, oil. I used vegetable oil, but you can use any type of oil. If you have baby oil, it's even better. Food coloring, antacid tablets. Uh, you would need a tall glass or a bottle. And of course, your parents or an adult to be present. Instructions. First, you have to fill the glass or the bottle with one to two inches of water. You will add your food coloring. Make sure to stir. Then you will fill the rest of the glass with oil, but stop at about one inch from the top so it won't bubble over. Um, and last, 
you will drop the antacid tablet into the mixture and watch what happens next. This is a picture of my lava lamp. I noticed that if you try different oils, it's gonna make your lava lamp look differently. Uh, you can try different colors also. And if you wanna make your lava lamp look even better, you can put a flashlight under your lava lamp. Later today, I'm gonna be posting this picture and you may reply to it with a picture of your lava lamp. Now I'm gonna model question eight for you. Go ahead and pause the video. Find week three, question eight. Now, I'm going to read the question to myself. Julie was playing in her swimming pool and noticed that some of her pool toys floated while others sank. It is most likely that I need to highlight my question. Now, I need to circle my important words. Uh, some of the important words that I notice here is swimming pool, floated, sank, now, I need to find out what property of matter is Julie noticing while playing in her swimming pool. I write down my chart. Mickey Mouse said Donald can sing. And because of my important words, I notice that this question is about density. Now I'm gonna make a drawing. Um, there's a swimming pool and there's some toys that are floating and some toys that are sinking. Based on my chart, I know that the toys that are floating are those that have low density. The toys that are sinking are those that have high density. Now I'm gonna read the answer choices. Letter J says, the toys that sank had a lower mass than the water and the toys that floated had a greater mass than the water. Um, according to my chart, I know that this property is density, not mass. So it could not be letter J. Letter H says, the toys that sank had a lower density than the water and the toys that floated had a higher density than water. No, according to my chart and my drawing, the objects that are floating have lower density, not higher density. Now I'm gonna read letter G. The toys that sank had a greater mass than the water and the toys that floated had a lower mass than the water. Mm, no, the property discussed here is density, not mass. Letter F says, the toys that sank had a higher density than the water and the toys that floated had a lower density than the water. Yes, according to my chart and my drawing, the toys that are floating have low density, the toys that are sinking have a higher density. My answer is F. And before I circle my answer, I'm gonna write down my evidence. The answer is F because toys that sink have higher density and the toys that float have lower density. Now go to question six. Remember to read your question carefully, highlight, circle your important words, and your, your density chart. Your assignment for today is answer questions five through eight with annotations and evidence. Then do your online assignment. And if you have any questions, please let me know.